Doctors say they expect to know by Christmas whether their vaccine prevents COVID-19. The results today from a phase two trial looked at whether participants generated antibodies and T-cells in response to the vaccine. They called the findings encouraging. We are getting very good immune responses, even in the over 70s, which look very similar to those um, in younger adults. A response in older adults is particularly important given they're at higher risk for severe disease and sometimes don't generate strong immune responses. The researchers also found the vaccine to be generally well tolerated with no significant safety issues. Important after a trial of this vaccine was halted for seven weeks in the U.S. as a safety concern was investigated. It was ultimately allowed to continue. 35-year-old Jeff Carlson is in the U.S. trial and got his first shot last weekend. He said he felt confident about the safety despite the pause in the study. I really thought, you know, if, if anything, uh, something that's been under this much scrutiny, I feel like they've really got to do a good job taking care of it. He said he still wants to volunteer even after both Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines have proven so effective because he knows the world needs more than those two. I can't control too much in the world, it seems like right now, but this is one thing I could do. If it's proven safe and effective, the AstraZeneca and Oxford vaccine would add needed supply around the world. And the company says it shouldn't require the ultra-cold storage temperatures of Pfizer's vaccine. Now, Carlson doesn't know if he got the placebo or the real vaccine, but Shep, he's not taking chances. He said he's canceled plans with his family and he's spending Thanksgiving at home. And Meg, word today from the World Health Organization about a controversial COVID treatment. Yeah, the World Health Organization actually just minutes ago coming out with a new recommendation about remdesivir and really putting the WHO at odds with the United States. Their recommendation is against using that drug, saying it doesn't have an effect on saving lives, preventing patients from needing ventilators, or even speeding up their time to recovery. Now, of course, back in October, this became the first drug that the FDA fully approved to treat COVID based on trials Before. showing it did shorten the time to recovery by five days. Uh, and of course, Gilead, which makes the drug, disputes the WHO findings, but, you know, it's a real rift between the U.S. and the WHO. All right, Meg Terrell, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.